Hi, welcome to Quarterback Film Room. I'm Brian Drew. We're going to talk about just a couple of quarterback situations here. We're in late June, so we are in the dead period here. Uh, but I just wanted to touch upon, uh, you know, a roster reset for the Minnesota Vikings and some of the factors and the variables that went into play now, three months after the Kirk Cousins signing, we can look back and sort of piece together and see a little bit more clearer and from a different perspective of how Mike Zimmer and Rick Spielman were thinking about this. So obviously Kirk Cousins signs with Minnesota three years, $90 million guaranteed, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, so initially, you know, you think, why are they doing this? Case Keenum led him to the NFC title game. Sam Bradford showed that he could be the franchise future for the Vikings. Um, and then Teddy Bridgewater was a young, rising talent 20, in 2014, 2015, um, was looking very, very good in 2016, then he got hurt. So, But three months later, it's really much more clear why the decision was made. Okay, Because Sam Bradford, coming off the 2016 campaign, where he looked really, really good for the majority of the year, and he had to deal with a lot of adversity, he completed over 70% of his passes, he was highly efficient, and he was thrown into a situation where um, you know, that was very difficult. So Bradford showed in 2016 that, that he was and that he could be the clear-cut future franchise quarterback for the Vikings, probably from 2017 to 2020. Uh, but then, so what I think ended up happening is obviously he got hurt after the week one game. But I think Mike Zimmer and Rick Spielman just knew and they decided that as much as they liked Sam Bradford, because I believe they really did like this kid, but his knee was just not going to hold up. And now he's in Arizona. And supposedly, he has a degenerative issue within his knee. So for, for the Vikings to say, all right, let's re-sign Sam to say like a two- or three-year deal, that was a no-brainer at this point. You know, if, if we're in January 2018, after, uh, you know, the 2017 season where Sam Bradford was injured for 15 games, there was just no way in heck that they're going to bring him back. Okay, even if he was going to be playing at the level that he did in week one against the Saints. So the risk was too big. They had their mind made up about Sam. He was gone. And then you got to look at the Case Keenum situation. And as tough as that decision was to not bring him back, to bring him back, you know, he, he arguably played top five quarterback play in the entire league for the whole season in 2017. Case Keenum, that is. Um, so, so that was the more difficult choice. But I think um, the Vikings actually made that choice relatively easy on themselves by the way they treated Keenum week in and week out when he was just absolutely balling out for the team all year. And each and every week, Mike Zimmer would come to the podium and say, you know what, he's our starter for this week. Um, and you know, he would not go out of his way in the least bit to even give slight praise to Case Keenum. So, and Rick Spielman really didn't, show that he really wanted Keenum either. You know, they just signed him to, um, you know, a street free, uh, Case Keenum was a street free agent. They picked him up in May, late, for just a very, very small salary. So there's no way in heck they were going to offer Case what he would be offered on the open market. Um, plus, I think they, they played it out in their heads. Was Case going to be able to replicate what he did in 2017? And the answer is no. So, would it be possible that he could? Yes, it could be. But with the new OC, with Pat Shermer electing the lead, that made their decision pretty easy as well. So at the time, I I was really struggling with their decision to let Keenum walk. And I really wasn't understanding it, honestly. But now, three months later, we can piece it together and we can see the multiple angles that went into this decision. And it becomes much more clear. So Keenum's gone. And then Teddy Bridgewater, even though they stood by Teddy uh, during 2016, even 2017, um, he rehabbed at the facility. They were still relatively high on him. That relationship was just broken when they, when they uh, elected to go with Case. And when they didn't really, back in April, May, June of 2017, they weren't opening up things for Teddy to compete. When I think he could have possibly competed for a job, either to be the primary backup to Sam Bradford in week one, and obviously when Bradford was hurt, 
I think Teddy was actually ready to play. And I think he knew it. I think his camp knew it. And the Vikings were keeping him on IR or, you know, on the reserve list for half the year. And that relationship soured rather quickly. So now, in January of 2018, none of those options were really formidable for the Vikings to say, hey, you're going to be our guy for the next three to four years. So honestly, I think it was just a relatively easy decision for them to pursue Kirk Cousins. And all those variables sort of came together at the right time to make it happen. So um, so I think the Vikings, when you analyze it, they did actually make the right decision by bringing in Kirk Cousins.